You've been a freshman member of the 118th Congress for a little over a month now. So first, before we kick things off, how has it been going? Um, it's been great. It's been uh, honestly an honor of a lifetime. Uh, the first couple of weeks, we were obviously very busy in D.C., getting sworn into office, getting our committee assignments. I'm really excited. I'm getting to serve on two committees. The first one was my top choice, which is the House Agriculture Committee. I'm excited about that. I live in a, in a district that is very agrarian. There's lots of agriculture, lots of farmland, lots of corn and soybeans. So this is a great opportunity to get that committee assignment. And then I also got um, an opportunity to serve on the House Veterans Affairs Committee. So that was kind of some, we had some of our first meetings in Washington before we headed home for this two weeks of recess. You're catching me at the end of our second week of recess. So I have been traversing this uh, this district for the last two weeks and been meeting with a lot of great people throughout the district. Yeah, you've been on the ground running, but I do want to talk about those committees that you're on. You, you're sitting on two, as you said, what do you hope yep. to accomplish in both of these committees in the next two years? Well, the House Agriculture Committee, it's really important because this year we're going to be negotiating a farm bill. The farm bill actually only comes up once every five years. And because there is so much important work within the farm bill that will touch communities in central and southern Illinois, those that I represent, I'm really eager to really dive into those negotiations. I'm actually going to serve on three subcommittees. Most Members actually only serve on two subcommittees. I volunteered for three um, because really it's that important to our district. Uh, the first subcommittee that I'm going to be serving on is commodities. Our top commodities in this district are corn, soybean, and pork. We are top producers of those three commodities in the country, in the world, quite frankly. So really eager to be an advocate for our family farmers on that, that subcommittee in those areas. The second is really research. I was just yesterday at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. They have a world-class agricultural pro program. So I got to meet with the dean, hear about some of the really innovative work that they're doing in the agricultural space with precision farming and ag tech. And I'll be able to support those efforts on the subcommittee with research and conservation. And then just lastly, I'm getting the opportunity to serve on the rural, um, rural investment, rural development subcommittee. And because I have so many smaller and mid-sized communities and cities in this district, I'm going to really be able to help be an advocate for things like broadband access. So those are some, that's some of the work that I'm really excited about, in particular on the House Agriculture Committee. And then on the House v uh, Veterans Affairs, I have two VA clinics in the district. So looking forward to being a champion for our veterans as well. When it comes to the farm bill specifically, do you think you can work together with GOP members? Where's areas in the farm bill that you can work together on? I really hope. I think one of the things I'm really excited about the House Agriculture Committee is it's one of the few spaces where we really still can be bipartisan. Um, I've developed a friendship with another freshman member. He's a Republican, actually representing Des Moines. Des Moines, Iowa, as you know, is the state capital of Iowa. I live in Springfield which is our state capital in Illinois. Zach cares a lot, or I should say Congressman Nunn cares a lot about corn and soybeans, so do I. So I think there'll be some places where he and I, regardless of our political party, are going to be able to get things done for our communities on this committee. I also share six of my seven counties with Republican Congresswoman Mary Miller. And so I've reached out to the Congresswoman. We've sat down and met. And while there'll probably be areas where we're not going to agree, the House Agriculture Committee and the Farm Bill, we both thought could be a place where we could. So I look forward to that work. 